All right, hi everyone. So today we're going to take a look at a practical example of creating a program that will convert one temperature in, in one standard to another. So uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius. So let's go. Let's uh, start up IntelliJ. We're going to do it like this. We're going to go File, New, Project. So we're going to go like this, uh, Java, open JDK 17, next, next. And we're going to call this um, temp conversion, okay? And then do I want to open the project? Uh, we'll say uh, new window, okay. Okay, so first thing to do is let's, um, let's see how we can pull this off. So we're going to go source like this. I want to go new, package, ECS 1021, because that's my course name. And then we're going to go new, Java class. And we're going to create a Java class called, um, let's see, we're going to call it T converter class. All right. So then T converter class, we need to have two methods, two functions. The first one is going to be a, an action. And this is going to be um, Celsius to Fahrenheit, okay? And then the other action that I want is Fahrenheit to Celsius, like that. Okay, so then what I want here is I want a, um, let's call it action, Celsius to Fahrenheit, like that. And we're going to make this um, float. We're going to output a float. And we're going to have float, oops. It's public float. Um, this is going to be Celsius to Fahrenheit, so this has to be a Celsius input. So Celsius input, like that. And we're going to go like this, and we're going to make the skeleton for the other one, like that. Except we're going to go and switch it around. Celsius to, or Fahrenheit to Celsius, like that. And I think I might have spelled that wrong, whatever. We're, we're just gonna leave it at that. And um, so I think I spelled Celsius wrong. <laughs> did I spell, is that why it's? Ah, I did, look at that, spell checker. Celsius, Celsius. Celsius. There's even a spell checker in here. Isn't that nice? There. Ha! Okay, excellent. So, what's the um, uh, the equation for going from Celsius to Fahrenheit? It's um, return. So, we're going to return a value. And the value is going to be my Celsius input multiplied by 9 divided by 5 plus 32. That's what it is. And then over here, I want to do return. No, I don't need to actually specify that name. I want to take, whoops, it's not Celsius input. This is going to be, it's going to go far input like that. All right, and this is going to be Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 divided by 9. And that is the return value rate there. Now we don't need a local variable. That's 
fine. Okay, then I go back over in here. So I've got a T converter class. And I want to make a new Java class. My main class like that. This is what it's going to be called. Okay. And then inside of here, I'm going to say main like that. That's my main function, or my main method. And I'm going to have a, I'm not going to scan in values. I'm just going to, just to simplify it, I'm just going to have it defined in here. I'm going to say float. And I'm going to say, um, my temp f in Fahrenheit is equal to, um, let's say 0, 0.0 like that and float. Actually, we're going to say my first temp like that. My second temp, which is going to be in Celsius. We're going to say this is 0, 0.0 like that, or let's make it 10 degrees. Okay. So one temperature in Fahrenheit, another temperature in Celsius. All right. Now I'm going to S out. Oh, actually, and then I want to do float. Um, I want to float um, my first temp converted into C. I'm just going to set it to zero like that and float my second temp converted into Fahrenheit. And that's actually let's set it to like minus a thousand. Okay, something silly like that. First converted temperature. And this is going to be plus like so. That variable like that. And that's going to be in Celsius, like so. And we're just going to copy and paste that. My second converted temperature. And this is going to be in Fahrenheit. Actually, just copy it from here. Like so. And that's going to be in Fahrenheit like that. All right. Next, I have to do this. My first temperature converted into C is equal to, um, well, hold on. I need to have the object that can do the conversion. So I need to create a conversion object. All right. And this is going to be, what did I call it? T converter class. It's the first one that pops up there. Um, and then we're going to call it my converter like that is equal to new T converter class like that semicolon. All right. Now I now have an object. Okay. An object like that. And so what I'm going to say is T con T converter class dot No, that's not it. Sorry. It's my converter dot action Fahrenheit to Celsius. Is that what I wanted to do? Yes. And I want to put my first temp in Fahrenheit and place it there. And I'm going to go my second temp in C is equal to my converter dot action and I want to do Celsius to Fahrenheit and I want to take my second degree or my second temperature which is in Celsius and do the conversion like that all right so I don't see any red it looks like whoops I spelled that wrong that's why it's grayed out there I think we got it so we're going to compile that and let's run it. It's building. Oh, 
What did I do wrong? Here. Let's fix that with var. 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 Var like that. All right. Now let's... So we're just going to make it doubles by automatically. So let's compile that. Okay, so we've converted that over. Let's take a look at what this is right here. Cast argument to float. Ah, let's go back over here. Okay. Let's make that double. 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 Double like that. I shouldn't have to cast it anymore. Let's run this. See what happens. There we go. Okay, so we got a first converted to minus 17 Celsius from zero. And the second one is 50 Fahrenheit from 10, which I think is about right. Okay, there we go. We got a conversion in temperature. So we have basically, to summarize, what we have here is a main function, which is doing all the work, okay, or calling all the work that needs to be done. And the converter class is, an, is basically a plan for an object that will contain two possible actions. The first action is this one. It's a method, okay? And the second one is this one right here. So the first action or method is Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion. And the second one is Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion. Now, we could do Kelvin conversions as well. We could do it into funny alien temperature conversions, whatever. But basically, it's a converter class which creates an object. And that object, which is responsible for doing these conversions, is available here. And then we use it and call the action here by by passing it values. There you go.